There are thousands of documents filed away at the BC Archives. One of them is a list from items of an, from an auction in 1879. As Veronica Cooper tells us, it's a list that's proved invaluable ever since Victoria's heritage community began restoring Ross Bay Villa. The house was in fairly poor condition. It um, was the eyesore of the neighborhood and a lot of people wanted it gone. And the house was um, almost demolished um, about 16 years ago. But Ross Bay Villa was saved from the wrecking ball. A few people in the heritage community realized that it had some old bones and they said we need some time to research it. And it was determined that it was from 1865, so one of the early homes in Victoria. Once saved, volunteers began the long task of restoring the heritage home, analyzing the structure to determine what parts were original. The wallpaper analysis, the paint analysis, um, we figured out where it would have been carpeting just by the evidence that was left on the original floors. The team wanted to restore not just the building, but the furnishings too. A lot of time was spent at the archives to learn about the original um, owners of the Ross Bay Villa, the Roscoes. They were quite prominent in Victoria in the 1860s and 1870s and luckily the newspaper at the time wrote quite frequently about Mr. Roscoe because he was an MP for Victoria and Ottawa. But how to determine what the Roscoe style might have been? Serendipity played a role. We were quite lucky when one of the researchers found an auction list of all the furniture that was sold off in 1879. When Mrs. Roscoe returned to England after her husband's death, that auction list became the shopping list with items such as Brussels weave carpets, which were then sourced by the society. These ones were made in England, woven on these tiny looms and then hand sewn together. There was a whatnot on the list, but what's a whatnot? It turns out it's a, a, a tiered um, corner shelf. We also had a Singer sewing machine because the auction lists it. The search for a rosewood piano continued for years, but one was found. Simone credits the BC Archives as an invaluable source to ensure accuracy of this spectacular restoration. There's a lot of um, information that is still available. You just have to find it, and then you have to interpret it. You need to get it right. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, celebrating 130 years.